Hi, I'm Craig Phillips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to design and build your own bespoke corner desk. And the tools you're going to require are jigsaw, cordless drill, clamps, tape measure, sander, router, and circular saw. So this is the corner of my room. I'm hoping it's more or less than 90 degrees. If it's not, I'll show you how to trim the actual board down to create that exact shape so you've got a nice snug fit. Then I want to aim for a nice curved edge to my bespoke desk. Curving around like this, nice soft edges. I'm going to drill a hole in the corner using my hole cutter to allow my plugs to come through and get to the back of my computer. I'm going to be fitting a batten to the wall on the underside of the desk so it won't be seen and that'll take the majority of the weight and keep the desk level. And then two side brackets here and here, which will fit more or less down to the floor. So now I'm gonna measure up and draw the shape it to my desk. Now I want it a meter in length, which is here. And from the same corner, a meter in width. which is about here. Now I'm going to freehand and draw the bespoke shape to my desk. But I want kind of coming out relatively square there. Could be curving out a fraction because you've got the space on here to curve out just a fraction and then start to come back in. And if you're not that confident on freehand drawing your design, the way I'm attempting here, you could always get yourself a flat piece of cardboard, draw it on there, cut it out with a pair of scissors, offer that up into the corner of the room, see how that feels. If that's right, use it as a template on your MDF, draw around it and jigsaw it out. So now I'm happy with my shape, I'm going to cut it out using my cordless jigsaw. Now before you start routing the edge and sanding all the edge, it might be an idea to offer this up to the corner where you're going to position it and just double check that this manufactured cut edge, which of course is 90, meets perfectly and snug with your house. I'm going to give you an example. Hopefully you want it to butt up really nice and tight to both sides of your wall like this. However, I've seen houses and the walls aren't quite square and all of a sudden you butt it up and you've got this big ugly gap there which of course you don't want. So the trick around that is quite simple. Get yourself a straight edge, could be a spirit level, could be a bat and a wood and place this on top over the gap but flush up with the edge of your wall whether it's plasterwork, painted, or wallpapered wall, butt up along that edge, take your pencil, draw along here, and then when you remove that, you'll see that that pencil line is now chamfering away from here. So now, once you cut that, again using your circular saw, you cut along that line, that will actually then fit completely snug against your wall which is offset and it'll look as perfect as that. Now fitting this to the wall, I'm going to apply two battens along the back edge here and here which are going to be screwed onto the wall which will hold it quite well. However, when you've got a big span like this, you could possibly get a little bit of a bow in it. Now there's a couple of things you can do. You could put another batten in a straight line 
right across it and not see any legs or any brackets. Or you could actually cut a bracket, which, like I mentioned earlier on the drawing, sits more or less just underneath here. If that was upright and it come all the way down to the floor but what looks kind of quite cool if it when you've got a shape desk like this if we did it round about 300 millimeters because once it's butt against the wall here 300 mil will finish about here so 300 millimeters by maybe half that to 150 let's say so then all of a sudden let me draw a straight line from that mark down to here we now create this kind of triangular shaped bracket now that then can go all the way down to the floor this will sit on the underside of the desk itself it will be nice and solid In the next cut, I've got to work out how high I actually want my desk. Now, I think about 800 millimetres high, so I've got a small bit to trim off the bottom of here. That's the two brackets now made for the corner desk. The next stage on the top of this corner desk at the back, I'm going to cut out a small round hole with the hole cutter, just round about here. We don't want it too close to the corner because there is going to be a batten on the underside here, all the way along, finishing about here, just before your bracket. Same again with the batten across here. So taking that into account, whether you're going to use 2v2, uh, 2b1 just about here for your hole I'm going to cut a hole about 65 millimeters which is perfect for a molded plug to be able to slot right through now the next stage is to fit the brackets and the battens to the wall so we start off by finding our position where these are going to go like this we know we've got a thousand millimetres length. So we'll make a little mark on here, a thousand across to this point. That's the edge. So I want to come in a fraction, maybe about 50 millimetres from there. And that's my point. Remember, we made these 800 millimetres high. So I'll make a line there. Transfer that level across. Here's your mate, spirit level. And same again on the back wall. And the next stage, if this is coming in around maybe 50, 60 millimetres. So the actual desk overhangs on here. I'm going to make a little mark there. And then again, get a nice straight line from the floor. And now we will be fitting one batten across here and then another batten along this edge there. So we'll fit this one in first. So I've got a plasterboard on here and then it's a plywood behind it, it's a stud wall. Uh, if you at home may have a brick or a block behind your plasterboard, you will have to use a masonry drill bit, drill through the wall, put in a raw plug and then drive your screw in. But I'm okay to put my screws directly into the wood behind. Now this room in my house is halfway through 
the construction stage, so it's not quite completed. This wall has a skating board on it, and this one hasn't. So, if this one is fitted up along here, of course you can simply put your skating boards up to the very bottom, or if your skating boards are fitted into position like this side is, you've got a couple of options. You don't want to take all your skating boards off, of course, but you can get an off-cut piece of skating board and literally place this into position and simply scribe around that with your pencil and then cut it out with a jigsaw. Or if you had a bevel of some sort, you could actually create the shape on there and then transfer it onto your bracket and cut it out with the jigsaw. Now all four battens are fitted into position. We're going to fix this one to here. And again, drilling a couple of little pilot holes in there and driving some small screws in through there. And then we can put a little bit of filler on there, sand it down, and then they're ready for painting. Likewise with the walls. So that is now the construction complete on my bespoke corner desk. All I need to do now is fill in the screw holes with some filler, let it dry, sand it down, and then I can paint it and it's ready to start working on. If you've enjoyed this how-to video, make sure you subscribe to Silverline Tools YouTube channel for lots more projects, videos, and inspiration.